And first tonight at 6, Colorado Secretary of State Jenna Griswold's call for a boycott of Alabama in response to its restrictive new abortion laws. News Live's Andy Cohen looking into how much money the state spends in Alabama. He joins us in studio with our top story. We sent the Secretary of State a Colorado Open Records Act request for credit card histories going back three years. That's the maximum allowed. In that time, her office sent two employees to Alabama for training. The total hotel costs just shy of $1,800. Now, they also rented cars for about $800. That money was spent in Georgia near the Atlanta airport. My body, my choice. The new abortion law enacted in Alabama not only spurred these protests, it also offended Colorado Secretary of State Jenna Griswold, who announced last week she's boycotting the state, no longer sending employees to a week-long training at Auburn University. She also publicly called on the group who provides the training to relocate, but they explained the trainers are faculty at Auburn. They have a national reputation for research in elections where we will continue and very happy to continue that relationship with them. Griswold's employees will still receive training from the election center. In fact, they're bringing a regional event to Denver next month. Individuals don't have to leave their state. We bring the program to them over a three-year period. Documents uncovered this week by Nine News in Denver show the original draft of the news release that announced this boycott edited out a statement mentioning that Denver training. The edit was recommended by officials from Planned Parenthood. We asked the Secretary of State's office about working with Planned Parenthood and they responded in a statement that Griswold consulted with the group because they are the leading experts and one of the largest providers of women's health care. There are 34 employees in the Elections Division at the Secretary of State's office and they told us today about 12 of them have completed these programs to become what's known as a Certified Election Registration Administrator. Watching out for you, Andy Cohen, News 5.